soul winning tip for today is just going to be to um, not miss out on any opportunities. Um, I know we've heard a lot of preaching on opportunities in your personal life. You know, people, when you're alone with someone, it's always a good time to witness to them. When, um, you know, whatever, on the job, in a car, or whatever, things like that. And those are all great opportunities. But I'm talking about specifically to be conscious and be aware of opportunities actually out when we're, we're knocking on doors and going door to door. Um, it's easy sometimes to get in the habit of, man, well, we got to knock out this street or knock out this neighborhood, and you just focus on the doors. But I'll tell you what, people walking on the street is a perfect opportunity. I mean, the whole point is not just to knock the doors, obviously, and just shade off the map. We're out to win souls. So you know, especially in this neighborhood, how hard it is even to get in one conversation. So, like, if you spot somebody, like, walking on the street, man, that's a goal to go after that person. Even if it means crossing the street and, and whatever, you know, um, it's probably worth it because there's at least human interaction that you're going to be getting. You know, whether or not they want to talk, it's another thing, but still, it's it's... There's a prime opportunity. You don't, have, you don't want to waste that. Mm -hmm. And then um, also other opportunities. Let's say you get somebody saved at the door. Ask them if there's anybody else that's home. If you see kids, you know, playing around or whatever, you say, hey, you know, after maybe after you've already given them the gospel, they get saved. Hey, can I explain this to your kids? Or can I, you know, is your husband home? Is your wife home? Is some, you know, someone else here yeah. that hasn't heard this, that doesn't know this, that need that that can hear this? Because after they get saved, I mean, they're not gonna. There should be no problem with them wanting other people to hear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, maybe if they don't get saved, you start asking if you could talk to other people. They're probably not gonna be so so thrilled about that. But definitely, after a person gets saved, use that, especially if you see people. I mean, if there's someone kind of over there, you know, you could spend quite a bit of time at one door just continually giving the gospel to people, and we've done that before. Where, you know. You talk to the mom, or you talk to the dad, and they get saved, and then they have kids. It's like, hey, can we talk to your kids? And they're like, sure, you know, and then they get saved, and then someone else shows up, and it's like, hey, you know, just just keep it going. Basically, the opportunities you don't want to miss out on is just as many people as possible that you see that you can reach, you know, whether it be at the door or, you know, next to, you know, outside the house or, around, you know, just walking around the neighborhood, anything like that. It's easy to, to lose track of that. I mean, none of us is perfect, you know. I mean, you get in conversations, you go out soul winning and stuff. But just kind of keep it on your radar, especially people just, just walking around. If you can just, just kind of cut them off and, and say, hey, can, you know, can I stop you for a minute and give you an invitation to church or whatever. Yeah. So, um, so that's our soul winning tip for today. Just, I mean, it's just a good thing to be refreshed, reminded of, and just always have in the back of your mind whenever you see somebody. And really... It's not just for door to door. I mean, whenever you see someone, you really got to train yourself to just think of like soul winning. So you know, like, yeah. like here's a good opportunity to give the gospel. Here's, a, I mean, because that'll if you, the more you start doing that out here, you could that could translate into other areas of your life. You just get in that mindset of thinking, okay, you know, if I see a person, my first thought's going to be, hey, I need to give that person the gospel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then, when you're out in just other areas of your life, when you're out shopping or at the gas station or wherever it is that you see people. Start thinking, hey, there's somebody I can give the gospel to. So that's it for today. Let's um, I'll give people a few more minutes to show up and leave it there.